Okay. Aha. Let's talk turkey. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Tim. I am the Dizzy Daddy and welcome to another Cooking with Leftovers episode. So Christmas has come and gone, that turkey has been enjoyed and eaten, but if you're anything like me, you shove the carcass in the freezer. And here it is. So today we're going to take that and we're going to use it to make my mom's famous, well famous in our family, turkey tortellini noodle soup. Now this was a soup that she used to make after pretty much every Christmas and to be perfectly honest as a kid I got sick of it and then you become an adult and funny thing you find yourself craving it. So now I'm the one who makes it and my kids are the ones that don't really want to eat it. But it doesn't matter I'm making it today anyway. Now this recipe isn't really a recipe recipe kind of recipe. It's a throw together and you don't necessarily need a turkey carcass. You can do this with a chicken carcass. So you eat all the meat off the chicken, don't throw away the carcass because you can make a really nice stock, really nice uh, broth base for your soup and uh, yeah, you can have an extra meal there. Let's go! Okay, so today's recipe is usually made as usual on a stove top in a pot. Uh, I want to expedite things a little bit, so I will be throwing it into my instant pot. But of course, you can always cook this on the stove, it just takes a bit longer and I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Let's see what we got here. So we've got kind of the rib cage of the carcass here, what's left of it, and sort of a wing and a drumette. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off any nice meat that we can find and we're going to kind of set it aside and put it in later. Holy smokes, this thing is so big it's throwing a shadow. Let's put it over here. Nice. Okay, get rid of any skin. Okay, all of this stuff, the skin, the bones, the whatever it's all going in because that's all flavor that's a little big okay I'm gonna put this to the side and we're gonna get our veg ready because we got to put some uh, aromatics and herbs and things like that in here as well are you having a nice nap yeah look what dad's got for you oh too close <laughs> Is that good? Oh my goodness. Did that just wet the appetite? You stretching your stomach out? Okay, okay. I'll get you some more pieces. Let's go. We got our veg here. We got the mirepoix, which is the uh, onion, celery, and carrot. Then we got some leftover herbs that I was using around Christmas time. Uh, they still look fresh-ish. And we got some garlic and some bay leaves. But really, just whatever herbs, whatever aromatics, things like that that you have. And we're just gonna rough chop this stuff. Now later we're gonna put more onions, carrots, and celery in, and those are gonna be uniformly cut all nice for aesthetics and uh, for equal cooking time. But right now, just toss them in. Maybe get rid of the uh, sort of top and the bottom there. And then just, uh, I'm going to keep this giant piece of rosemary, but all the rest of it, parsley, thyme, sage, uh, maybe something else, I don't know. That's going in. In. Ugh. Look at that. That's not good. Just take this dark part out. The rest, in. Throw one of these in for good measure. Okay, let's set up the Instant Pot. I filled that to the max line with water, and... You know what? We don't need to do it for too long. We don't need to absolutely boil the bones to jelly. So we're gonna do 20 minutes, and then natural release. Okay. Ooh. It smells good. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, man. That is nice. Here we go! 
Ah! Splashies! No splashies! Okay, it's all good. Back in goes the stock. The dog's going nuts. Ever since I gave him a taste of that turkey, he's been kind of edgy. <laughs> I'll save a little bit extra for him. And let's go in with our veg and our tortellini. Some onions, this is about half a medium onion. This is uh, one carrot, it's been peeled, cut, and a couple celery stalks. Now, everything is around roughly the same size, so we're now we want it to look nice, now that we're actually making the soup. And of course, turkey, about a cup, cup and a half, just roughly chopped. This is just store-bought tortellini. Couple handfuls, probably about a cup worth. Now don't put too many because these things, especially if you have leftovers the next day, they puff up like, like ping pong balls. Okay, so let's get that back in there. Okay, so we've got this back into the Instant Pot. And one last thing. I'm gonna put one of these Kanoor little uh, concentrated uh, stock gels in. And that's just chicken stock, and that's just gonna help sort of bolster the flavor there. And then after it's done, we'll additionally correct the seasoning with a little bit of salt and pepper. And Bob's your uncle. Only five minutes this time. That's all you need. Oh, I hear the bells, or the chime. And you know what? I was thinking about it. I'm a little nervous leaving my tortellinis in there for this to, uh, natural release. So I'm gonna release it. How I do that, if you release an Instant Pot, if you know anything about an Instant Pot, if you release it indoors, you get, of course, tons of steam, but a bit of spatter as well. So I'm just gonna take this little uh, strainer and put paper towel like so. Let me just manipulate this. Can you see that? That's what I'm doing. Okay, I gotta put the tripod down. Uh, Yes, very sophisticated production here. And then, just release. That way I don't burn my fingers. And the uh, paper towel will catch the spatter. This might take a while. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Let's dish this up. And try it out. Ooh, hot. Mmm. Ooh, that's deep. That's nice. I put that uh, bouillon jelly in. Um, but if you have just uh, chicken bouillon powder or a chicken bouillon cube, you can either break it up and put as much or as little as you want in there. Or if you don't want to put any uh, extra chicken stock in there, you can basically just uh, add some salt and pepper. I just like to add it for that little extra oomph. Hmm, that's almost good the way it is. Three finger pinch of kosher salt. Black pepper. I can't wait. Okay, so there's the soup. Here's the dog. He's hanging around. Non-stop. Let's try it out. Mmm. 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 I'm sorry. I can't help but just see? He's back. Yes, I know. Okay, okay. I'm almost done filming. Okay. <laughs> oh, you have such a nice smile. Sorry. Mmm, that is fantastic. It's such a wonderful comfort food, and it's so easy to make. It really does make a difference when you put that carcass in there with all the cartilage and the bones. It's a throw together meal, but it's so good. And of course, if you're not an Instant Pot person, you can always do this on the stove top in a normal pot. It just takes a lot longer. I simmer the uh, bones and the uh, aromatics up to an hour, that's probably about all you need. Hour, hour and a half even, just at a low simmer. And then yeah, same sort of thing. You strain the broth, 
add your stuff, cook it for an additional, you know, 20 minutes or however long it takes to soften all the vegetables. And then boom. Oh, so good. And there we have it. Grandma's turkey tortellini noodle soup. Now I say it's grandma's, but really it's my mom. But anybody who has kids knows that as soon as you have them, your parents are no longer mom and dad. They become grandma and grandpa and that's pretty much it. So grandma's turkey tortellini noodle soup. As usual, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please do consider subscribing, hit the thumbs up button and the notification bell and all that stuff, and I will see you next time with something else. Take care.